Hey there! Some months ago, since the first release of PoseMod 3, PoseMod has had bug fixes and new additions almost every day during the first month, and it still gets updated occasionally more recently. I'll show you more later, and also some other things. If you haven't updated PoseMod since its initial release, then wow, you have a really buggy version of PoseMod, and you really should update. To install or update PoseMod, it's easy. In this video, or the other video, you'll find the download links in the video description. You can either use Mega or Mediafire. Try using Mega first, since it always gets updated first. In the Mega page, press here, where it says Download as Zip, or select these files, right-click and press Download. In the Mediafire page, right-click this file and press Download. Then wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's downloaded, you can press here to find where the zip is. Right-click the zip file and press Extract. Then just move these files into the Andera Simulator folder. And that's it! PoseMod is installed. If you are installing on a recent build, or essentially any game that's using a recent Unity version, then that should be it. It's fully installed right now and it should work just fine. To run the game with PoseMod, you use one of these. Try this one first. If you run this instead, it will run the game without PoseMod. When you run PoseMod, sometimes if you see an error like this that says it's missing VC Runtime 140, that can be fixed. It's a normal Windows component that's missing and you just have to install it once. On the text file How to Install PoseMod, you can find the download link to that component. Just download it and run it after. While trying to run PoseMod, if it sends you a message like this, then you can press More Info and then Run Anyway. Or if a antivirus also gives you some warning, you can somewhere set it as a false positive. The reason why these messages appear sometimes it's because of the way of how PoseMod works. PoseMod injects code into Yandere Simulator, so that you have the PoseMod menu and stuff. But Windows or antiviruses don't know what PoseMod is. The way that your computer sees things is a program that injects code into another program so that something happens. The computer does not know what the program is doing, it does not know if it's a bad or a good thing. But because it does it by injecting code, then it thinks that's kinda sus. And so, Windows sometimes thinks that PoseMod is a dangerous program. But don't worry, PoseMod is not dangerous, it's safe. If you're installing PoseMod on an older game that uses Unity version 4 or 5, then there might be some issues getting PoseMod to run. If you try to run PoseMod normally and it crashes, then let's try using a side injector. It's a second way that we can try to inject PoseMod's code into the game. Let's start with this one called Door Stop. To install it, just copy these files into the game folder. Now we need to change a setting in this file. We need to define which Unity version this game is. To know which Unity version the game is, just try to run PoseMod again and it will appear here. In this case, it's Unity 4. So in this file, we set it this way for Unity 4. If it would be Unity 5, it would look like this. And if it would be Unity 2017, it would look like this. And so on. Now that Doorstop is installed, we must always use the game's own application instead of PoseMod. PoseMod should run fine now. If even with doorstop the game still crashes or just doesn't open with PoseMod, then it might be some other reason that it's unlikely it can be fixed. In the Assets folder, you can define a custom PoseMod menu background image or cursor image by replacing these two files. PoseMod's download comes with a few example images in this folder. And, outside the PoseMod folder, there's another folder with some more images that people have shared. You can use any of them. 
I've put these outside the PoseMod folder, so you don't need to download them again every time you want to update. To set a custom background image, go on the Assets folder and you just have to replace this one called Background with whichever image you want to use. And you can do the same with the cursor. In game, on the ref menu, you can change it to any color. And in the settings text file, you can also change the text colors of the pose mod menu. And also change the keys to the menus. I've learned that some people don't have these F keys. In case your keyboard doesn't have these keys, you can change them to other keys on this file. At the current moment, the pose mod menu that you open with the X key only works in Yandere Simulator. Other games will only have the F9, F10, F11 and F12 menus. In a future update, this pose mod menu will also be able to be opened in other games, but not at this exact moment. If you're updating pose mod from the initial release, you need to install it like shown previously in the video. But if you already have a more recent version of pose mod, not from the initial release of months ago, then there's another way to update PoseMod. You can just download and replace the modules folder. This is so it will not override your settings text file, which has the keys and colors, and your assets folder, which has the custom menu images. In the current version of PoseMod, there's many bug fixes and a few new things. I added that you can close these menus by pressing the escape key. While in FreeCam, you can press Z to spawn this. That will help you seeing the coordinates of places. And there has been many new commands added which you can see in a channel on my Discord server. I still have many features planned for PoseMod, but at the moment I've been working on my game, Anime Life Sim. I've been making the map look a lot more detailed and making the menus look a lot better. I've been remaking some core features of the game and it will run much better and nicer. While it's loading the game, you get an overview of the map and you can see it actually loading each object of your save. This is better than just looking at an empty loading screen. I've added at least half of the house created. You can spawn building parts like walls, doors or windows and place them to make any buildings. Later it will also be possible to put custom colors or textures into walls or floors. The game automatically generates a lower quality version of your buildings when you are distant from them. This is to help performance. I've also been working on making a new base character model for the game, but that will still take some time. Anyway, this was just a small, quick video originally for how to install PoseMod and fix common issues. If you still have any issues that you didn't find in this video, you can leave a comment with them, or check if someone else already asked that, and see if either me or someone else replied to their question. See you in the next video. Bye.